I am here to do an exciting video. I haven't done, I don't even know if I did one last year of the what I got for Christmas, but I figured this year I've only gotten a few things and I figured it was enough to show you guys. Now Christmas this year was a little bit different for me. Usually my mom will cook this huge meal and um, my whole family will come over, but this year my brother ended up not coming back home from Florida for Christmas and then a lot of my family actually went overseas to the homeland, um, Laos and I think they're in Thailand also, but they're over there overseas and they've been there for a while. So this year was actually a very quiet Christmas for my family. I just spent it with my mother, my cat Ollie and Craig which is perfectly fine with me. I didn't get too many actual presents which presents aren't a huge deal. I'm at the age now, I'm 24 if you're curious, but I'm at the age where I'd rather do things or go out and experience things rather than actual gifts. So this year was kind of along those lines. I did get a few presents for my mom because my mom is always like, I want you to have something to open, which is, you know, such a mom thing to do and I, I appreciate it. So I have those things to show you and then I will talk about the experiences that we have planned and then I'll show you guys what I got for myself with some Christmas money that I received. You know, I'm actually going to tell you guys what I got for Christmas experience wise, but Craig and I will be going to Marco Island, Florida, which is kind of near Naples, but it's a little island off of Florida and I've never been there and I haven't been to Florida in some time now, so I'm really excited for that. We're going January 10th, I believe, and only for a couple days. I'm extremely excited. So for Christmas, Craig and his parents got me the plane ticket, and then Craig also just told me, well, he told me on Christmas Day that we're renting a boat while we're down in Marco Island. So I'm extremely excited for that. I'm gonna first start off with this vest I have hanging over here behind me. She ended up getting me this North Face, very lightweight, it's thin, but it's still really warm a vest. And it's like in this eggplant color, like a plum, like a dark, dark plum. And I think it's gorgeous. I love how it's kind of um, tapered on the back, on the seam. So it kind of gives you that more slim look. But I love this. And I love North Face. It's such a good brand. And these jackets and vests hold up really well. Then I still have them in these boxes because I had to show you guys. These are so cute. She got me a few things from Michael Kors. And I'll just jump right into these. So this first one, at first I wasn't really in love with it, but then the more I looked at it, it was just the perfect thing for me to take to Florida. This is the first thing she got me from Michael Kors, which is this little tiny crossbody bag. And it's in a white color with the MKs. I'm not a huge fan of like the big logos and stuff on purses, but for some reason I thought this was a really adorable. It has a lighter strap and it is a crossbody, so it's long straps. And this, the more I looked at it and thought about it, this is perfect for Florida. Just something easy, simple to wear, just to keep all of your necessities in. And the color is perfect. It's more of that lighter look um, for the sunshine state, which is awesome. So my mom got me this one. And this is called Michael Kors Jet Set Item in vanilla. It's the small flap crossbody, if you're curious. So yeah, it's perfect for traveling, and I guess it's meant for traveling since it's called the Jet Set. Next box is also from Michael Kors. This is actually one that I really liked, and she remembered it from so long ago. I think I went with her to Michael Kors a while ago, and I pointed this out, and I thought this was very practical for me, um, and I love the color. So this right here is a navy blue, almost like an indigo with gold hardware. I think actually Michael Kors always has gold hardware. Is that true? I feel like that's true, but I don't know. I always feel like I see gold, but it's a beautiful crossbody. Again, it's leather. I mean, I love this because you have so many compartments. You have this one here, this zipper compartment, and then you have the inside here for um, credit cards and just like maybe your phone. And there's another zipper in the back and then there's pockets in the back too. The next thing I have here to show you guys is actually a surprise present from my friend Inyoung. She lives in California and we haven't talked in a while but 
she sent me this random Christmas package and I got so excited. So I wanted to show you guys a few things that she gave me in that package. How pretty is this? Is it a sequin stocking? So she ended up giving me the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub, which I have never tried before. I'm gonna try to go through this quick actually. The Nivea A Kiss of Cherry Lip Balm. The Jergens Shea Butter Condition and Enriches Perfect for the Hands. So it's like a lotion or hand cream. A little sample of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. This stuff here is amazing. So I'm glad I have a travel size. The little sample of the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. The Pink Warm and Cozy Shimmer Mist, which smells so good. Oh, from Victoria's Secret. It smells so, so sweet. So if you like that sweet scent and you want a little bit of a shine on your decollete or if you're going out, something like this would be cool. The Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. I think these lip creams are fairly new and she says these are her favorite right now. And I'm excited to try these out because I am so into the liquid lipsticks. You guys know that. It's called Amore and number two. It's like the perfect nude color. And then one of my favorite things she got me was the Dior Addict Lipstick in 745. I have never had a Dior lipstick in my life, so this is my first one, and I'm so glad it's from Inyoung because she is so amazing. I'm gonna leave the link to her channel down below because she does make YouTube videos, and they're always so informative. A lot of her videos are reviews and hauls, which are my absolute favorite to watch, so I'm gonna leave her link down below. You gotta check her out because she's amazing, and I love her. But she did give me this Dior lipstick, and... If you watch my vlog channel, you probably saw me like struggling to open it. I couldn't open this for the life of me. I thought it opened like down here somehow or like twisted it or something. But my boyfriend Craig ended up figuring it out for me and you just kind of pop open the top. So it just pops out like that. This red color is gorgeous. If you're wondering about my nails, they are the Press On Nails. They are by Impress and I got them at, I think I got them at like Walgreens a while ago. But I finally decided to wear this color, which is like a maroon, like a deep red. I love it. It's such a pretty color. I just love it because your nails can look so perfect without having to actually go get a manicure. They just look completely done. You guys know Press Ons are like my favorite thing of all time for nails. But anyway, Dior Attic Lipstick in 745. I'll do a swatch for you. It's more like those like balmy lipsticks. It has, still has a lot of color to it, but it's a little bit sheer, which I love. Other things that she threw into the bag that I don't have here with me are some chocolates, which were delicious. The Which I think I'm going to put those in my December favorites, so you'll see the chocolates. And then she got me makeup wipes, some feminine products, clothes like I mentioned, but a whole bunch of stuff. And thank you so much, Inyoung. I already thanked her, but I need to say it again because she's so amazing and I love her. So definitely check her out. And now moving on to a few other things. Oh wait, some things that she also gave me are some of these sheet masks she threw in here also. I have it in this bag, so I have those. A few things from Craig's parents. Craig's parents, oh, they're the sweetest people ever. If you watch my vlog channel, you probably met or saw Craig's mom. A lot of you guys loved her. She's so sweet, but his parents did give me a gift card and this really cute Christmas tin, and I don't know why I just saved the tin. I thought it was so cute, but I did purchase a few things I will show you in this video with that gift card that they gave me. Oh, his mother also gave this to me. She said it was very random, but when she saw it, she thought it was so cute, and she threw it in as a part of my Christmas gift. It's just a sunglasses case, which is perfect because I have so many sunglasses that don't have cases. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like I'm not really into the designer high-end sunglasses anymore. I used to be. Now I'm very, very content with the no name brands of sunglasses and I'm one to like throw my sunglasses like in my purse don't even care they'll get scratched up but this is perfect so I'm so glad she got me this and this is from Lucky Brand a few small things this Craig got me this it wasn't really for Christmas it was just kind of like here I want to get this for you another Lancome lip liner I've been so into the Lancome lip liners it's kind of crazy um, this one is in natural mauve so I wonder if this is gonna focus there it is natural mauve it's just like a pretty mauvey pink color and then one of my girls at work gave me this really cute mug with a gold J on it I think it's adorable and she also got me like a box of chocolates and stuff like that so and then obviously a cute card and then in this cute little bag another thing that Craig's gonna get me is actually 
my detailing for my car. My car is a hot mess and it needs to be just detailed, waxed, vacuumed, just scrubbed down on the inside and those can get pretty pricey. I think we were looking into it and it was around $150 to $200 to get your entire car detailed. So that's another present. Again, more of an experience, not actual physical present, which is perfectly fine with me, like I said. The rest of the things I'm gonna show you are things that I purchased for myself. The first thing I'm going to show you are a few things from Ulta, NYX, has a bunch of new collections out. If you follow me on my vlog channel, I showed you guys a bunch of the new collections that were out from NYX. There's cream contours, new lipsticks, um, new face products, glitters, uh, so many other items I can't even remember right now, but I ended up picking up two glitters from their new glitter collection, and this one here is the gold, and this is the silver. And then, along with that, I got the, sorry, <laughs> NYX Glitter Primer. The next thing is also an item from Ulta. It is the Snow Angel by Philosophy Shower Gel. I am obsessed with the scent. It is amazing. And when it comes out every year for Christmas, I always try to buy one. But this year, I got one big one. And then, a couple days ago, the day after Christmas, I was on Macy's.com, and they had everything half off. So I purchased more of the the snow angel like gift packs and when that comes in i'll probably show it on my vlog channel i don't think i'm going to be showing it here on the makeup channel but follow my vlog down below if you want to see this haul when more of it comes in because it's it's on its way here but i don't know what day it's going to get here i'm not sure if you can even still get it now because it is a holiday item and once it's sold out it won't be back until next year so hopefully you guys can still find this oh my gosh i just found this on the floor i guess this fell off my table but this is another item that my friend inyoung gave me it's a luggage tag which is perfect is this not perfect because i'm going to florida in january but it's a benefit luggage tag laughter is the best cosmetic so the day after christmas craig and i decided to go to the mall because we're crazy but i ended up going to sephora i ended up finding the haku hodo sephora brushes on a bogo buy one get one free i was so excited and i heard about the sale before but when i was actually in store and feeling the brushes i was like these are amazing and if you are familiar with haku hodo this is the packaging here you guys know that their brushes are fairly expensive they're, they're definitely not cheap so look at the packaging though. One brush is in here. It comes in a beautiful box. And Hakuhodo is a Japanese brand. I believe it's like a, an artisan craftsman brand. They do like calligraphy brushes and stuff. But they collaborated with Sephora and they came out with makeup brushes. Go online now or go to your Sephora stores to hopefully find some brushes left over. So it's a red case and it just opens up. And this brush I got here is called, where is it? Atsubu? And this is the Large Teardrop Pointed Powder Brush. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. If you guys want a in-depth review on these brushes, I will do that for you guys. I think this one was $45 or something like that, around the 40 something range. And then this brush, I believe, was closer to $50. This is the Kusabi, and I got this one for free. And this one is the Wedged Sloping Powder Brush. So it's perfect for bronzer or powder or anything like that. So I'm gonna open this one. Okay, oh, beautiful. Is that not gorgeous? I love this packaging and the brushes are so soft. And this item is actually from the new MAC Fairy Tales or Fairies something. Fairies, I'll put like the name on the bottom here if I don't remember um, it's the new collection that came out just the other day and I end up just getting a brush now the collection had eyeshadows and blushes and powders but this brush just spoke to me and it's the Mac 133 it is a very small cheek brush but this is perfect for highlight contour um, even contouring down the nose because it's so thin. Look how thin that is and skinny. But I love the shape. I love the size of this. It's very, very soft. So this is perfect for my hourglass ambient lighting powders. They fit perfectly into the small palette. I'm so excited about this MAC brush. And this was the last thing I purchased for myself with gift cards that I got for Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fairly long, but I hope you guys liked it. If you want any in-depth reviews 
or in-depth videos on certain products that you guys saw today, please let me know down in the comments. Follow my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all links will be down below. I will be doing a travel vlog with Craig when we go to Florida, so if you wanna see that, follow Jerlyn TV, which is, again, linked down below. Everything's down there, and that's pretty much that. I hope you guys had a great holiday, and I hope you guys have a great new year, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.